I'm Julia. I'm Alan. And we're going to be tasting some foods from some of our favorite 90 Day Fiance cast members. I have no idea what's about to happen. This was not planned. She's been in charge. I'm just a test subject. I want you to start with this beverage. I like beverages. So this one is a non-alcoholic. What's the point? We have a beer and we have a non-alcoholic drink. I want you to taste it and tell me what you taste. Okay. Ew. Mm, grape juice, love it. Is that what it tastes like? No, it's definitely not grape juice. It's probably like fig juice or something. <laughs> okay, and you don't have an idea of what country this might be? No idea. Okay. All right, and this is a beer. This is a beer? This is a beer. It looks, okay, I can see the bubbles. I can see the hops. Oh, it's a beer. It smells like a beer. Now we're talking. Tastes like a lager. Yeah, it's fine. Tastes like a lager. If you could compare it to any like beer that you know, what would it be? Oh, like a, it's a, like a Sapporo. It tastes like a Japanese beer. Really? That, it tastes like a, like a Ichi, like a Huron. Wow. That's my guess. That's a good guess. The main course, courses that you're going to try, I feel like a giveaway. So I'm going to give you the dessert. Dessert first? Dessert first. What are we, eight years old? This is great. So there's an actual dessert, but the restaurant ran out of them. And so they gave me a flavored cupcake of the actual dessert, unfortunately. Just right into it. However you eat a cupcake, I don't use a fork for it. Then cupcake. don't use a fork. Don't throw the fork either. Oh, it smells funny. No, I'm not falling for that. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, it's interesting. It smells. Something's in it. There's some flavor, something. I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. The cream is like thicker than I thought it would be. The, the rest of the muffin's terrible. I could just lick the rest of this off. Well, it's not a muffin, it's a cupcake. Cupcake, whatever, the, the bottom part of it okay. is just. You think it's terrible? I, there's no specific flavor. I would never eat one of these. I would never order one of these. Are you gonna try it? I, do you want me to try it? I, I would love for you to try it. <laughs> I've actually never had this. It's, Either. So it's called in America, it's called a cupcake. Okay, I've had a cupcake. I've never had this flavor before. I'm not gonna lie, I don't love it either. It's not my favorite. It's fine. It, whatever that I flavor... would definitely never order that again. All right, whatever that texture is, I, I don't know. So we're gonna move on to the main course. All right, you ready? Okay. One, two, three. It's mashed potatoes and sausage. So it's bangers and mash. That's right. You went all the way downtown for <laughs> sausage and mashed potatoes? I got some, some, some other things. Popeyes has this and we have these in the fridge. Okay, relax. Mmm, noodle soup. I mean, it's good. <laughs> it's a sausage, it's delicious. You gonna try the mash or you good? Oh no, mash is great. <laughs> Love gravy. Yeah, it's delicious. Fantastic. Is there more beer? You're just gonna drink that on your own. <laughs> I keep drink. Is that a pot pie? Relax. The I see peas under there. Is there a pot pie? Oh, it's a shepherd's pie. It's a shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie. You get a shepherd's pie, and you get a shepherd's pie. Oh, I have I had shepherd's pie. I think I have. There's meat and schmutz and like carrots and onions. I love onions. And then the top is like all rotten, right? All rotten? It's all rotten. Is it just mashed potatoes all rotten? All rotten. That's what I said. Uh-huh. But this is from a traditional English restaurant. It's called Tea and Sympathy. Look at all these peas. This might be the record. Right there is the record for the most peas I think I've ever eaten in my life. You don't like peas? Why do you eat peas? I like peas. Ciao, oh, please. Chow peas. Mm. What meat do you think that is? Lamb. Correct. Well, that's the shepherd's pie is lamb. Well, I didn't think you knew that. It's definitely England. It's right? Tom, all Tom on the oh, table. Oh, Tom, that bloody wanker of him. That cheeky monkey he is. <laughs> that bloke. That bloke, that cherub. Oh my 
God, he's not a douche. Let, let me go over what everything is. So this is something we call Rubina. 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 And it's black currant. Have you ever heard of black currant? I've never heard of black currant. I think there's a liqueur that's black currant liqueur. It's a drink called like a Kier or Royal Kier. I know it's like cream de cassis and I think they use like a currant or something. Um, I'm not sure. The black currant berries and black currant, it's mostly grown in Northern Europe and Asia. So let's move on to the beer. I know Boddington's is an English beer. I've had one before because the can had a little thing and when you shake it at the end, it has like a little nitro release something. Mm -hmm. I'm blanking on any other beers that are super British. So the beer is called Fuller's London Pride. Do people drink that or is that just, they suckered you into buying that? Like, I bet you that's brewed in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm not sure how popular this beer is in England. It was on the menu at Tea and Sympathy, but I also love that it said London Pride. Yeah, they suckered you into buying a beer that says London. Whatever. That's made in it's Detroit, Michigan beer it's, that says it's, London. It's not a Detroit, Michigan beer. I looked it up. It's an English beer. I love that you said it was Japanese because Fuller's is owned by Asahi. Oh, okay. So their mm -hmm. hops know their hops. They're probably like cousins. And yeah. The yeast are brothers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's probably brewed in Japan. Where is it brewed? It will say it on the label. Chiswick, London, okay. UK. <laughs> Asahi Holdings. They also screwed you Peroni style. 11.2 fluid ounces. That's garbage. Where's and it was expensive. Uh, of course it is. I want my other fluid ounces. I want a 12 ounce beer. When do I learn about what I just ate there? It's like liver or something? What is the... Does that it? is poop. Just it. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that is sticky toffee pudding. So bring us some figgy pudding. Now bring us some figgy pudding. Is that is that a song? Do you not know this? Figgy pudding. It's like toffee pudding. I think it's in the same okay, family. Probably. Do you know the you know what Christmas? So Christmas is this holiday. I know what Christmas is. Do you know what Christmas caroling is? Yes. Did you know that my mother's middle name is Carol? No, I didn't. There you go. My point is, is I think it's in the same like pudding. One of my favorite chefs, Chef Gordon Ramsay, is British. You bloody wankers! <laughs> He's the worst. He cooks sticky toffee pudding. He brings it up a lot on MasterChef. So that's the only reason I had heard of sticky toffee pudding. Uh -huh. So I wanted to try it and I didn't love it. Yeah, he, he also is big on those beef wellingtons and we went for I that. I love beef wellingtons. It was garbage. We've had it frozen from TJ's. We've gone to a restaurant. Beef wellington, overrated. Bangers and mash, bangers and mash, bangers and mash. That's Cumberland sausage and onion gravy and shepherd's pie. This peas though, what do they recommend? How many servings of vegetables do you need in a day? Like two or three? There's seven portions on here of vegetables. But what doesn't it look that? delicious? It looks great. I can't wait to eat some more. So that was my first blind taste test from some 90 day fiance country. Today was England. England. From across the pond. The food was in incredible. I have been dreading this all day, not knowing what my dinner would be tonight. I'm happy that I'm gonna enjoy this. Maybe next week we could also do more Britain or are you gonna be doing one of those other weird ones? Another country. So tune in next week. Please subscribe, hit the like button and listen to our podcast. Love is out there. Love is out there. I found love. I found love. We found love.